Hey guys, Lucas here. Lately I've been doing a lot of work with beacons. If you're not familiar with what beacons are, they're basically tiny little computers that broadcast information out to the air, where mobile devices are expected to have apps running that will detect this information and do something with it. The beacons I'm working with are these little rock looking things from a company called SD Mode. They have an adhesive backing that you can peel off and you can stick these anywhere you want. For example, you could actually place these throughout a retail store and have one in each department, so as your customers walk from one department to the next, they will actually receive an offer or a notification on their cell phone based on uh, the department they're in. In my last video, I gave a demonstration showing an app I wrote for the Android device that allows me to carry my cell phone around in my house, so as I go from one room to the next, my cell phone will actually detect the beacons in those rooms and will actually turn on the lights for each room that I'm currently in, as well as turn off the lights for the room that I just left. A couple of days ago, I read an article about the San Francisco airport, how they're placing beacons throughout their airport to help assist the visually impaired passengers navigate the airport. I also read that Heathrow Airport in London is doing the same throughout their airport, and they're actually using the same beacons that I'm going to be using in this demo. Although I like the idea of using my cell phone as a device to help me navigate indoors in places such as airports, I really don't like the idea of actually having my cell phone out in my hand uh, you know, while I'm walking through the airport, especially when I'm dragging luggage behind me. It's just not very efficient. So instead, I decided to take the app that I wrote for the Android cell phone and actually port it over to run on the Google Glass instead because I think it's a much better platform for a situation like this. For this demo to work, the app that's on my glass will detect when I approach a beacon. When I do, it'll take the unique identification number from that beacon, feed it over to a stream-based app that will do a lookup to make sure that it's aware of that beacon. If it is, it will take the location name, feed that back over to my glass, which I can see on my display here, and you'll be able to see on the screen behind me, as well as the distance that I am from that beacon. Okay, let's see this demo work. To do that, I'm going to activate my glass, but once I do, you're actually going to see a little bit of a lag between the glass and the screen behind me, but just know that in the display that I'm seeing here, everything is instant and in real time. The first thing you need to do is activate my glass and tell it to listen for beacons. Okay, so now it's listening for beacons. And again, there's a little bit of a lag on the screen behind me. So instead of actually approaching beacons, I'm going to bring the beacons closer to me so that way I don't have to move out from in front of the camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is approach the first beacon. At this point, I can see that I'm near the info desk and I'm just a fraction of a meter away from the beacon. Next, I'm going to approach another one, and now I can see that I'm next to the Apex booth, and I'm just a fraction of a meter away from it as well. And one more. So now I can see that I'm near this stage. So by using three or more of these uh, beacons, I can actually triangulate an exact location. At that point, I can actually draw uh, customer locations or users of the app. I can draw the location on a map inside of uh, Tipco's Live View, so that way you can do things like show where your customers are in real time. So if you have customers that are in men's clothing and in jewelry and are in you know, fragrances, you could actually see that on a map in real time. Now in a real world scenario, such as in a store or in an airport, you really don't have to get this close to the beacons. I'm only doing it like this because I don't want it to actually detect all the beacons that I have at the same time. I actually have several beacons in this room, so if I actually had it set any higher, you would actually see all those beacons listed behind me. So instead, I actually set it to only show beacons that I'm within about a quarter of a meter from. So that way, when I get close to the beacon, only that one specific beacon will actually display in the screen. One of the cool things about these beacons is they actually have a range of up to about 250 feet. So you could actually have these scattered out uh, fairly distant throughout your location. In my next video, I'll show you Tipco's stream base and live view. They're the products that actually made all this possible. So until then, thanks for watching.